Welcome back, statistics students. We are still inside of chapter nine, and we are on to example number three in the baseball example. I've already done two videos, okay? If you don't know what uh, data I'm talking about, you need to go back to the first video and see uh, my initial post there. So we have uh, this question where it says, re-express the data in your calculator, and then draw a scatter plot of the re-expressed -expre data. Now, the reason that you would do this is because what we found out in the first uh, example in the first video was that the data was not linear, right? We were getting nonlinear data, okay, such as we did this stat plot, right? We had our data points in here, and we saw this curve, right? We saw this curve here. So we'd like to get rid of that. So we're going to do something known as re-expressing the data, okay? The first step that we want to do is we want to go in and look at our data. And when we're in here, because it was curved, we are going to manipulate the Ys, right, which is L2 here. Now, I'm going to leave L3 open, this list here, and there's a specific reason for that coming up later. I always like to leave this spot open in case I do something with the X's. Right now with the Y's, I'm going to make L4 the log of L2. So here, I'm highlighted up in L4, I hit log, second, and I get the 2 right for L2 down here, you can see it. Then if I hit enter, it should populate this entire list, and it does, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to go in and I'm going to create, let me get this here, okay, and I'm going to create a graph, right, where my L1 is still down here, which of course our L1 was the year, okay, from... 1900s, right? And the other one I'm going to have now is L4, which remember is now the log of salary, where salary was in thousands of dollars. And I should have put a money sign before that, right? Thousands of dollars, okay? So it's the log of the salary where salary was in thousands. So it's L1 and L4. That means that I come in here, I hit second, Y equals, get to the stat plot. Come in here, I still want L1 here, right? But now all of a sudden I want this to be L2. So I hit second, four, that'll bring in L4. Zoom, nine for stat. And now look at how nice and straight this line is. Like, I mean, this is really pretty good. Okay, this looks really pretty good. So... This is the re-expressed. I've ex re-expressed in my calculator, and I've drawn the scatter plot. Now I just have to kind of um, put these on uh, my graph. And it looks something like that, right? We don't have to be super specific. Um, we want to be as accurate as we possibly can, but that's not going to cause us any um, you know, inconsistencies, or it's not going to... There's nothing wrong with drawing it just like that and not putting uh, a bunch of labels for the axes. I do need like this initial label to say what it is um, in context, but I don't have to put a bunch of tick marks or anything. Then we have this part where it says to describe it. Okay, Here, I'm going to get rid of my calculator now. That way I can write a little bit uh, bigger. Describe, that should instantly tell you that we should be doing ducks, fly, south usually right where d stands for direction here we have a positive direction i'm walking up a hill right as the year increases the salary and i shouldn't just put salary in this case i should be putting log salary increases okay because now all of a sudden this is the log F is form, well, it now became linear, right? This looks pretty linear to me. The strength, I would say moderately strong. Okay, again, remember what we've done back in chapters 6 through 8 when I did the initial least squared regression line? 
uh, the best way to tell the strength of a the strength of a linear regression line is to look at the correlation coefficient. And then u, that's anything unusual. I mean, we see this slight dip here. You could mention it here, um, but nothing really strikes me as super unusual, so I'm probably just going to say nothing here. Okay. Again, we did have this opening down here, if you remember, um, but it's kind of hard to see it instantly, so you could kind of mention it here, but again, there's so many dates there that it's probably hard to the naked eye to see that right away. So none is okay there. And that completes the video for example three. Coming up next, we're going to find a least squared regression line for the re-expressed data.